Okay everyone, thank you so much for coming over and watching today. Today's recipe is quite decadent. I don't usually make this just because it's so rich, but it is a creamy polenta with mushroom ragu or mushroom gravy. Okay, so to start off, this is a very ingredient heavy meal, uh, but it's filling, it's full of, it's kind of full of everything. Maybe it's lacking in protein. So if you want, you could add some tofu or some beans to it, but this is how I like to have it. It is, it's so tasty. It's very rich though. Um, so what I'm going to do first is introduce you to the mushrooms because they're kind of the star of the dish. The mushrooms, these ones here are uh, oyster mushrooms. And then I have cremini and shiitake. You can use any mushroom that you want. I'm going to cut them up so that they're a bit smaller and they'll cook down easier. And you're also going to want some stock. Sorry, not stock. You don't want some stock. You want a very good quality vegetable broth. The difference is stock is mostly boiled down vegetables where broth has been brought together already. Like it's ready to go. You could just heat it up and eat it. Okay. So to this, you are going to add some oil into your frying pan with thyme and um, seasonings like salt and pepper, some chili flakes if you want, and, uh, and garlic. And the garlic I am gonna mince fairly fine. And I have some lemon juice just to brighten it up in the end if I want. And I have half a cup of polenta. This polenta has already been cooked. I like to use this kind because it's quicker, but you can use the polenta that is dried. And then I have my stock, of course. Now to thicken it, we're gonna use garbanzo bean flour. You could use regular flour. Here I have salt, garlic powder, and onion powder, a teaspoon of each. Okay, so let's head over to the stove and get cooking. Okay, so I'm going to start first by sauteing the mushrooms and I'm doing that with my favorite oil which is from Evolution. A tablespoon. We're going to add in some more garlic. My thyme. And you don't want your garlic to burn and the mushrooms. All right, so while those cook a bit, I'm gonna add in some salt. This is cayenne pepper. You could use chili flakes. And once it just starts getting fragrant, you're going to add in about a cup of vegetable broth. Okay, so now let's start on the polenta. We're gonna add in. Oops. The rest of that. And this is a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. We're just gonna let this boil down and soften. So you can see 
how much this has thickened up. If you need help, you can add some more stock. You could even add cream, like oat cream, uh, coconut cream. And if you need help breaking down the harder pieces of polenta, you could use a masher. But you do want a fairly smooth consistency and keep moving it so it doesn't burn. A lot of the liquid has evaporated and now I'm going to add in some seasoning. It's going to be mostly salt, onion powder and garlic powder. And that nutritional yeast part is actually quite tasty in here. I'm not a big nutritional yeast fan, but sometimes I need that cheesy quality. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a taste. That's good. So what you should be looking for when you're tasting the polenta is something that is a little bit salty, but full of flavor in garlic and onion um, because the gravy is going to go on top of it. All right, so this has reduced quite a bit. I'm going to taste it. It's good. Now what you should be looking for here is also like a wet gravy taste and the uh, thyme and the garlic has really come through, but I want more. So, oh. so I'm gonna add some more. Of salt, I'm gonna add some more garlic and I'm going to add some more onion powder. And then to thicken it up, a tablespoon at a time, we are going to add in uh, garbanzo bean flour. Okay, so you're pretty much making a roux here. And the whisk that I threw on the floor just a moment ago would really come in handy. Yeah. I'm gonna add in some more stock. Sorry, I keep saying stock, but it's not. It's broth, because broth just has so much more flavor. Now, if you're tasting and you're like, oh gosh, that's still a bit bland, it's because your broth was bland. So it's important to have a really great flavored broth. And the heat that I've been using for everything is medium high. So you can see how much our gravy has thickened up. Before you serve it, just take out the um, sprigs of thyme. This works better in a deeper dish. I'm going to spoon in my polenta. And then add in our gravy, our mushroom gravy. Now if you guys want, and I often do this because I always need more greens in my diet, is I'll fry up some like asparagus and or watercress with a little bit of garlic, no oil, and some lemon juice to brighten it up. And there you have it, my polenta with mushroom gravy.